Hello everybody, Mike here, and I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time, as I am a loyal fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. Before I begin, I should tell you what I thought of the previous movies. I haven't seen the originals in a long time, but from what I remember, I really liked the first movie, the second one was also a lot of fun, the third movie was okay but hard to follow at times, and I recently saw the fourth movie last month, and, well, it had its moments but wasn't very memorable. Now we have the fifth movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and to be honest, it was only a matter of time before they used that phrase. Okay, so the story this time around is that Henry Turner, the son of Will and Elizabeth, is trying to break the curse on Will as he is bound as the captain of the Flying Dutchman. In order to do this, he needs the Trident of Poseidon, which can break all curses. Sounds like lazy writing to me, but more on that in a bit. Henry goes on a nine-year search for Captain Jack Sparrow, believing that he is the only one who can help him, but someone else is looking for him as well. We are introduced to our villain named Captain Salazar, a ghostly Spanish captain who wants revenge on Jack for defeating him many years ago. His design is awesome, and he has just the right amount of involvement to be intimidating, but don't worry. If you thought his CG effects looked lame in the trailer, they touch it up in the film. Along the way, Barboza returns, and we get a new character named Karina, a well-educated woman who is alright, but by no means bland. Of course, Johnny Depp is Captain Jack Sparrow, and he's still very entertaining, but I have to be honest, his character isn't written as well as he was ten years ago. True to form, there is a ton of humor throughout, but very few of the jokes ever land. There's this one scene where, this doesn't hurt the plot, I swear, where Jack and company come across this guy on an island, I don't know if he appeared in previous films or what, but all of a sudden, he attempts to force Jack into this marriage with a bride and a pastor and everything until Barboza rescues him, which is how they meet up. But it's such a pointless scene that went absolutely nowhere. I felt the story was a little too rushed, but the action was pretty cool at times. Some of the sword fights and action scenes were creative, especially at the beginning, so I did enjoy that. I love the series, but you can tell that it's really running out of steam, or wind in the sails. When they do make the sixth film, I think they should put more focus into the points that matter, such as the action, main cast, and treasure, and less focus on the elements that don't, like the minor characters and backstory, which sort of broke continuity, by the way. A lot of this was negative, but I still had a good time. Not the best in the series, but not the worst either. I liked it for some of the things it accomplished, but I feel like the writing held it back at times. I will give this movie a thumbs up because I really don't want to give it an okay rating because I am confident that there will be a good payoff. I hope. 